Yo, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the NHL 14 Road to the Stanley Cup. It's episode 4. We got the Canadians versus the Bruins, Montreal at Boston. So, like I said, it's episode 4. Episode 3, on the previous episode, we had seen the Devils defeat the Washington Capitals. With 11 seconds left, they scored a goal. So, I uh, almost went to overtime, but... As you probably would have noticed, if you would have seen that video, it didn't. So, let's see what happens with this game right here. So, let's go. Montreal, Boston, now. We welcome everybody to our opening round, game one, and that's all there is. You win it, or the season is over. Boston's going to hope that the home ice advantage will be enough in this vital and conclusive one game, and Montreal's dream of a one-game series win will have to be done, not only with the opposing team against them, but also the crowd as they try and do this on the road. Center ice, Boston, Montreal. We are set to go. This great rivalry is renewed. He shoots, he scores! And they jump to the early lead. There's a nice shot. High slot. He was open and he wristed it. Here, this goal, he needed a little luck. Maybe the handle of his stick. It didn't happen. You want to follow up with that early goal with another one, especially on home ice here, and really get this crowd roaring. Chara. Slot area, get a little room, take advantage of it. In a hurry, he did with a wrister. Well, the problem with the goalie that holds his glove too low is if the shot comes high, how does he get his glove up high enough, quick enough? That time he got beat low. The Bruins' goal will put him up by two. That's an early strike in this game. Boy, they are feeling it. Look out, this might be a landslide. Subban. Give me another chance on that one. That had a favor trail by it, but it found no twine. Boston's aggressiveness on the forecheck really standing out early. That's a nice long lead pass. Dropped it, picked it back up. Fired shot that's uh, just not where you wanted it to be. Sometimes you grip the stick a little too tight and you miss your target. The Canadiens, PK, will go to work. Two minutes, goaltender interference. And Gare, some goalies can make this happen, but I don't think he was at fault at all on this play. Clear-cut case of goaltender interference. The Canadiens' penalty-killing unit is out there. They cannot afford to give up another goal as they are down by two. They win that offensive draw. Wide shot on that one. Up to the point. Rip that one. Neutral zone wing. Bouillon. Oh, mama, what a shot put on early. It's only going to accelerate from there. Big wrist shot. He'll give this one to the scorer's box. We'll see what the penalty is. The Bruins' penalty is two for goaltender interference. And, Gary, this doesn't take much. Sometimes you just need to lock skate blades accidentally, and you're going to get the interference call against you. We'll skate four on four. Puck controlled off the draw in the zone. 
able to pick that one up. The Canadians get their man out of the sin bin. Power play with it. Seidenberg. Just a laser shot. Big save. To Gallagher. Yikes. Huge collision takes place. What a shot. Good chance in tight. Off the pad. Pass back to the point. Ripped it. Uses the blocker. Great effort off the rebound. Boston's back at full strength. To Markov. Loose puck and he gains control. Shot scores! And they're back to within one with a long way to go. That's how you get a goal down low. Get rid of that baby in a hurry. Snapped it home. I think the goalie would like to have this back again. I mean, low to the glove side is something he doesn't want to hear or see. Montreal's offense produces and puts them right back on the game. Oh, no question this game is up for grabs. It's a, it's a one-goal difference. I mean, I like the way they're trending right now. Good effort right there to obtain the zone as he went from the other side of the ice. Marshawn. He's got it on the stick. Moves it into the zone. Scoring chance tonight. Good stick save. To Georges. To Diaz. To Pacioretty. To DeHarnay. On the charge. Three on two. Oh, did he flash the pad on that? Great save. And here's a chance for one, and no. No, with a capital N. The Bruins' offensive success so far in this game appears to be coming by carrying that puck into the slot and letting it rip. Carry right down the middle. That is... Score! And that's going to tie it up. Some players are shooters, folks. What can you say? That's a shot that ends up in the back of the net. Took the opportunity and scored. Well, stick side down low. Some goalies have trouble stopping him there, and this guy looked like, well, looked like he struggled a little bit. The Canadiens' faceoff win comes right in the middle. Puts that one into the other corner. Tremendous first period of play comes to a conclusion. Chances coming at both ends for these teams. Goaltenders kept busy. Good 20. 2-2 two -two after one. Maybe you can't keep that play going for a whole game, but what a domination physically. Boy, without question, Gary, I didn't know they hated these other guys that much. It's a tie game as we go to the intermission, and it's this late period goal that did it. These two teams will try one more time. Second period action. Scoring opportunity denied with that glove. Gary Price, former CHL goaltender of the year in the Canadian Major Junior League. Gary, the bigger the stage, the better Gary Price seems to play. I mean, he really is a clutch performer, and his focus is second to none. Bruins win that faceoff in the offensive end. Scoring chance missed. He's wide. In front of the net. Misses that wide. To Subban, to Pacioretty. Here's an offensive chance. Three on two. Needs to move it. To Marshawn. Brister, great legs. Oh, what a shot! Scores! Tyler Sagan came out of junior with a big reputation, and part of that has to do with his accurate shot.
but it's gone in the since goal is the only one scored here in this period but right now it has given his team that one goal lead to Gianta his team's behind he's got a couple of points but right now he's going to need to give them more huge collision takes place what a shot well he is one of a and he scores and with that one there are two unanswered on the board Good quick wrist shot in that high slot area, and he makes it for a goal. Now he'll be talking to his goalie coach. This goaltender will be tomorrow because of the shot beating him low to the glove. Now the question is, will there be an answer to this 2-0 lead? Yeah, will there be an answer? And will these guys, now that they're up by two, will they relax? Score! And that one makes it three unanswered goals. Hamilton snapshot. It's a good one, and it's a goal. I don't know how you cover all of that four by six opening, and this goalie, I think, is asking himself the same question. We spend a lot of time talking the next goal. Well, that one that was just scored may have been that next goal. Yeah, just about put them away. I mean, maybe these other guys need a fight. Uh, they need something to change the momentum because they. The Bruins been doing this throughout the game, and why stop? That slot is wide open, and those shots are just being ripped off. Yeah, well, defensively, though, you got to connect the dots. Protect the middle first. That's how you stop it. Carries that puck. He scores! And they get the run stopped as they put another one up on the board. Mullins wrister. That's not only good enough, that's an outstanding shot that he brings home. And boy, that's cutting it fine for the shooter and too fine for the goalie just inside the post. The Canadian score was essential here midway through the second period. They, they need more, but at least they're in the game. Bill. I was thinking that it was sweet, but they're not close to being sweet just yet. To Markov. Of opportunity three on two needs to get a play going and there's the whistle on the offside whoa you can't do that Seidenberg's lost it out there I mean what is the shoving all about and uh, what does he want so they will uh, skate away and I guess that's the end of it Gary I can only imagine that this guy skating away had something wrong with one of his hands the Bruins play so far, at least in one uh, area, has clearly outdone their opponent. Well, I'll tell you what, Gary, th there's winning the hit parade and then there's running the other team out of the building. They have a huge lead in the hit margin. Giada's not going to play anymore, Bill? No, he's not coming back for this game, and they will lose a very important forward. This is a big hole to fill. Takes it on his own stick. Scores! And there are two unanswered goals on the board. Nice shot. Snaps it home from the high slot. Oh, that's good accuracy, Garrett. It's tough for a goalie to stop these shots high to the stick side. The Canadian score is going to make this a one-goal game here in the second period. And you know what? They're picking up the scent. You can tell. I mean, their forecheck is awesome. Handles that puck along the wing and up into the neutral zone. Boy, there's a great dump in right there. You've got to be able to lift it and get it out of there, and he did. To Krejci. Takes the shot. That was the earmark for a goal. Great pad save. The Bruins on the touch-up. That'll be icing. The Canadiens have it in their end off the face-off win. He'll carry that puck into the end himself. Stick save and a beauty. Right off the post. Never got a piece of that and it still didn't go in. To Bergeron. He's already picked up two assists tonight. He's got good hands going tonight to Sagan. Rishka in the slot. Save on the check. That's going to do it for the second period. The offenses with opportunities. Both teams converted, and it's still a close game. Montreal's offensive play through the first two periods, not much to talk about, but they're in the game. Well, they're in the game, but barely. They need a lucky bounce because they're getting killed in the scoring chance department. Here
was the chance to tie this game up, but he hit the post with the shot. We go to the break. One goal different. Face off, third period underway. Nice quick snap. Big opportunity with that one wide of the net. Nope, no credit for a shot on goal on that rip. To Marshall. To Bergeron. He'll play it again. Good poke check. Needs to get rid of this puck. Pass right on the money from the wing to DeHarnay. Here's the pad. To Bergeron. Two on two on the rush. Save. Great positioning for that pad save. He shoots, he scores! Right when they needed it, we've got a tie game. Got to have some power in the back end to score from that high slot area, and he did. I don't know, Gary, I think this goaltender will be practicing saves low to the stick side. The Canadiens' goal is going to put them right back in this game here in the third period. Uh, the thing that I like the most about these guys, Garrett, they just never panic. I mean, when you're down in the third period, sometimes nerves get the better of you. Not with this team. Cross. He'll carry this one. Not a lot of pressure up through center ice. Puck will come back out on the offside. Under nine minutes gone in the third. These goals just keep on coming. This is not a defenseman's delight. We're tied at 5-5. To Seidenberg. Up the wing to Doug Eve. Helmets off after that hit. Under pressure. Got all of that. Heavy metal shot. Goaltender's best friend. Nothing on that one. So we take a look, Bill, a little metal banging here. Yeah, I mean, that came this close to going in. Draw comes back to them in their own zone. That one blown dead offside. The Bruins win the faceoff. To Horton. Fires a chance. Scores. And answer goal. Frenchy's wrist shot so fast the D couldn't react to it. He's got a goal. And Gary, a big thank you from the goal scorer goes out to the assist guy. What a pass. Nice. There's the goal they needed. They go up by one. Not a lot of time left here in the third period. So how do you win this thing? Well, they've got to be good defensively, but they've got to avoid playing the rest of the period in their own end. They've got to attack. Save made with a pad as he flashes that one. Good pass off that wing goes to Bergeron. Got a chance to score. Takes the puck. That had a chance to go home. Good pad efforts. Looking around, decides to lug it into the zone. Kick save and a beauty. We'll get a face off off that frozen puck. George's backhand's a good one. I mean, he got all of that, and he got it on net. Goaltender ready, though, Bill. What a save made. krejci has been great in the face off circle tonight. He'll try and do it again here. Big win off the defensive draw. That's right when they needed it. Carries that along the wall, neutral zone. Trying to get it up ice. Both teams will make an effort now as we're running out of time here in the third. Score! And that goal comes at the very end of this game to tie it up.
Pacioretty's chance was there. He took it. He's got himself a goal. Oh, you got to love this play from top to bottom. Not only the goal, Gary, but the assist. That was a thing of beauty. Montreal's goal. Oh, what a monster. Final minute of the third. This is unbelievable. I mean, these guys waited this long to get a tie, not by design, but they got the job done when they had to. Horton. Shot. The Bruins not going to have to make any change in their offensive efforts. Why? From the very get-go, take the puck to the slot. It's open. Shoot. To Chara. To Lucic. Good save. You didn't see any net behind him. He's got it on the stick. Another save. Up the wing to Pacioretty. Chara. Oh, man, did he wipe him out right there. That's how you get the puck free. Two on two the other way. Shot. Good pass. Score! Marshawn's shot from down low goes in. That's a pretty backhand effort. And Gary, this goalie would have to have superhuman reflexes to stop that low to the stick side shot. Guys showed me tons of talent, and besides that, clutch performance in a one-game win series. And one playoff round has concluded. That's going to do it. We've got a winner. We've got a team to move on. And boy, do we have emotions out there in the ice. Yeah, but they're at opposite ends of the emotion spectrum. you got one team that's moving on, so you could expect them to be on top of the world. These other guys, this is dejection. It's all over for them. And after all the effort, both these teams... And there we go, what an end to an amazing, fun, action-packed game. As you can see, the Boston Bruins defeated the Montreal Canadiens and a score of 7-6. Got that last second shot. And uh, there we go. Episode 4 down. We got four teams down, four teams moving on. Four more videos to go. Till we get to the second round, who's going to go? Who's going to face them? Get to wait and see. Peace.